So how are you today, Cam? Um, I think I'm really good. Oh, that's nice to hear that. I think you really look good today. And I think, did you change your hair? You had uh, your hair? Yes. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't want my hair so long uh, because it's not uh, suitable for me and I feel not uh, comfortable with uh, longer hair. So, so that's why I always keep my hair really short. I think there are a lot of um, men like uh, with your age right now with the same hairstyle with you. Many. Well, and I think I think that's good because it's hot and you don't need to buy a lot of shampoo and <laughs> you don't need to stay for a very long time inside the bathroom because of your hair. So Cam, I think that the coronavirus or I think there's no lockdown already, right? Because we don't have cases for five days already. Yes. So have you been around? Did you go somewhere? Mm, no, I'm just still at home. And I hope in the next week I will go out to Haiphong province or Taiping province. Okay, so good luck with your um, plan to go. <laughs> I hope that you can really go there. Yes. And I guess, come, you can take a walk right now. So when I went outside um, last, you no, know, yesterday night, many people are not wearing masks already. So. We have we walk with my workmates in the lake, and then and uh, not really a lot, but I think a few people are also walking, and they're also not wearing masks. <laughs> so it means that they are confident enough. They are confident about the virus. So you should be confident also. Okay, Cam, so today our um, lesson is all about who questions. So this time you need to think about the people that you are with. Okay, and of course you just don't need to answer who are these people, but you also need to give a reason. Okay, so I'm going to read the example. The question is, who do you admire the most? When you say admire, it means that you look up to this person. Maybe this person have done something really good in the society or in his or her family. So the answer is my parents. They sacrificed everything for me. They gave up their personal dreams and financial well-being. They dropped out of high school because they were too poor to get dough. But they always emphasized the importance of a college education to me and my brothers and sisters. As a result, we enjoy a higher living standard than our parents thanks to their efforts. Nothing is stronger than parental determination to raise their children well. So in your case, Tom, who is the person that you admire the most nowadays? Mm -hmm. Uh, when I was a student, I really uh, admired uh, some of people really famous in this business, like uh, me. Nowadays, I don't have any uh, people uh, to make me admire life. And I think uh, sometimes I try to find some, some people to make me proud of them or uh, admire with them, but really hard. And I think if I have to, if I have to one choice, I will try my uh, 
uh, my advisor is uh, uh, Ho Chi Minh. I think so. that's the, oh. the biggest famous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I also admire Ho Chi Minh. You know what? That my friends and I, my circle of friends, really knew Ho Chi Minh way back in the Philippines, but not all Filipinos know that. Just people like me who are studying about um, sociology because um, they're included in the books. So yeah, I was so happy when I saw the um, the body of Ho Chi Minh in Hanoi. <laughs> but it's very strict. <laughs> yeah, you will, you will be afraid with the guards. Ho Chi Minh. How about, because I think in, in Vietnam, there are many people who admired monks, right? Are you familiar with monks? Mom or mother? Monks, monks not mother. <laughs> monks. Monks, like they believe in Buddhism. Uh, mom. Yeah. So many of my Vietnamese friend admires, they admire monks. Mm. Do you know Thich Nhat Hanh? Come. Uh, I heard about Thich Nhat Hanh a lot on the YouTube, um, but I, I don't understand about him a lot, and I think I don't know him. Maybe uh, they, uh, I don't know why, but I don't like. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just your feeling that you don't like Thich Nhat Hanh. I read one of Thich Nhat Hanh's book and I, will, I really admire him because I realized something after reading his book. So I admire him. I don't care if you don't like him. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the first question, Kam. Who is the breadwinner in your family? Uh, what is the breadwinner? You're a bread, just kidding. You're the one who like provide for your family's financial needs. Like you're the one who work um, to provide and or give. Um, your family's needs in terms of money? Mm. I, said, uh, I think, uh, of course, in my, my, uh, my parents. Now, <laughs> in your family. <laughs> In your uh, family right now, come. In uh, in the family. Mm. Mm -hmm. I uh, that is yeah, my father. I think so because he's also the people really important, and he yeah uh, he's sure about every money. Uh, to to keep my family in safe uh, in my past, I think so. What do you think are the qualities of a breadwinner? Uh, the quality. Mm, qualities. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that uh, in Many other uh, families uh, in Vietnam, um, we don't have, a, uh, we have a many uh, gender. Uh, for example, almost, the, almost families, uh, the husband, also the main, uh, the, the most important pe person in family. But nowadays, many other families uh, with the uh, the mother a really important even more than the husband i think so okay so 
Yes, because um, the world is changing. But uh, I think we talked about before that it's also important that like couples understand that a mother should really be left at home and the father will go to look for a job. How about in your case, Tom? Can you say that you are a good breadwinner, good provider? It's just the same, okay? When you say you are a breadwinner, it means that you are a provider, okay? It's the same. Can you say that you are a good breadwinner? Uh, I think um, in my family, um, um, I I think I'm really pleased in my uh, role when I earned uh, money uh, for my wife. But uh, I'm not uh, the most important person in my family. I, I also think my wife is the most important. So you are just, <laughs> you are just, 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 <laughs> because you're not important. Um, they said that the mother is the life of the household. So that's why it's really true. Even though the father is the one who's looking for money or providing the family, but the mother is still the one who's, I think, plays the most important role, right, in the family. So let's go to number two. I think it's very um, clear. Who cooks in your home? Mm -hmm. Every time that's uh, only my wife. <laughs> Have you even tried to help your wife once in cooking? Um, in my past, I tried uh, to cook. Uh, for her uh, two times, but mm -hmm. every uh, all this time uh, she also feel really uh, dislike and uh, she don't uh, she don't my support. Mm, I think really bad. Oh my God! So I think it's just really a few because you can count. You were able to count just two times. My goodness. I know you're good in um, cooking rice, Cam. And cooking noodles. <laughs> and cooking rice, uh, boil egg, or uh, make some noodle. Yes, I can do uh, really good. And sometimes I have to self cooking for me when my wife do. How about Cam, when your wife just gave birth to your kids? who did the cooking before when your wife just gave birth to your kids because mm. if you mm. if you just give birth you cannot work right <laughs> come you don't know anything <laughs> okay yeah, let's just um, continue. Who does the dishes at home? Wash the dishes or does the dishes? That's the same. Dish at home. Who does the dishes? Uh, dishes is the, is the food. So no. why? Yeah. No, it's the plates. Plates. The plates uh, and the, yes, the things you use for cooking and eating. Uh, 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 of course, every time my wife. Come, you should be absent today <laughs> because you don't, you forgot our class. <laughs> Okay, your wife also, but you never yes. help in washing the dishes. Yes, my wife uh, also is the main cooking cooker and is the main uh, dishes uh, every every time in my house. And uh, sometimes uh, my younger sister also uh, do that 
for her. Mm, but most of the time, my wife is the main person to to do that. Don't use the word cooker because there is no cooker. Rice cooker. <laughs> Cook, okay, cook. So my wife is the main cook in the house. A cooker is a utensil, like rice cooker. But you cannot use that in a person. So you have to say my wife is the main cook. Okay, how about who takes care of your children? I think uh, from uh, the question one to five, also the, the same question is my wife. And uh, I don't have any rules in uh, this question. In your house? <laughs> mm. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, sometime I, uh, really busy uh, she asked me uh, uh, support her to uh, to take care of our kids uh, but uh, every time I want to uh, take a bath for my our kids they also um, don't like and oh. they uh, just run away from me and they they just like uh, <laughs> take care from um, their mother yes oh. I don't know why I know that sometimes come that some fathers like they feel they feel bad about it when their kids just look for their moms and um, when their father tries like to go near to their kids the kids like don't want to go near to their father or to receive any care from their father do you also feel bad about yeah. it mm -hmm. that's why you have to change <laughs> Mm. How about your parents now come in the countryside? Who takes care of your parents in the countryside? Uh, be, uh, because uh, my parents are really strong and uh, uh, pretty young, so they can't uh, self take care for their self and not depend on uh, me or my wife. Okay. How old are your parents come? Uh, I think about uh, 46 uh, years old. Uh, huh? 56. Mm, so. 56? Oh, still young, right? Yes. Mm. And you're 30? 30, 30 mm. or 35? <laughs> uh, I think uh, 34 was younger. Mm, you lied with your age, so your your parents are 56 and then you're 34, so there's only 22 years gap. Oh, okay. Mm. Not not very far. So I think, come um, you can still like really have great time together with your parents because your age gap is is not really far. Like mm, most people. Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, because my parents are uh, really young and uh, still strong, so mm -hmm. I have, um, I don't have to take care not for them, and that's why I have many time uh, to focus on my main job. Mm, that's it. The good point with me, really advantage. And I hope we won't wait for the time that our parents will become old until we take care of them. I hope we will take care of them when they're still young and they know that we care about them. How many times in a week do you call your parents? Um, Verily, about, I just go for my parents when I have uh, some uh, serious uh, problem or uh, something I want to tell with them. Uh, but other time, um, I think I did not to go with them or sometimes I just come back to my countryside uh, uh, stay with them about one one day uh, from uh, uh, Monday uh, from uh, morning to afternoon and then I come back my house yes not much 
Mm. So come when, um, because now I'm still single, when my mother calls me and she calls me many times and she will be angry if I will not answer the phone. How about you when you were still single? Was your mother also like that? Like your mother always calls you and she will become angry? If you will not, um, yes, talk with her. Okay, now in my past, uh, in my whole time when I was uh, in high school, I, I, of course at that time <clears throat> I, stay, I stayed uh, with my parents all the time, but uh, in the in the university, uh, when I was student, I rarely to call uh, for my parents, and I just call to them when I uh, lack money and I, I really want they they send money uh, for me. And other thing, I don't I don't call. I did not call for them. And now, uh, when I have a small I have an, my fam, own family. I also rarely to go them. Yes, and uh, sometimes they, my pa my father call me, and I don't, I can't uh, hear. Uh, I, I think uh, my 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 father really upset, and uh, at that time I have to call uh, again uh, to him uh, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Things so, are straight away. Yes, I guess it's very important just even to message them or to call them. But um, I also understand that we cannot do that all the time. So, have you heard about the song Seven Years, Seven Years Old Come? The song, the song is entitled Seven Years Old. It's very um, no, and popular. Many, many of my students knew that song. Oh. I think that song is very old also. And the song, the song talks about the, the guy's journey. And his father died when his father was 60 years old. And he said he hoped that some, someday his kids will visit him even once a month when he's mm. also 60 years old because he was not able to do it with his father. Yeah, you have to listen to that song. Yeah. Eh, just keep on saying, okay. Yeah. I forgot what's the spelling of his name. See this one? You can just search that. It's very famous with Vietnamese people. So I guess come um, question number six, who makes more money, you or your spouse? Uh, in my family, I think uh, I also the main people, uh, person to make uh, money. Mm. Yes. Okay. Because so you're... I uh, stay at home and uh, she is a housekeeper. Mm. Housekeeper? <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'll keep everything in my house. Sometimes she, she, uh, she said um, to me is, uh, I don't know why uh, I married uh, with, uh, she married with me. And she, th uh, she thought uh, she just is a housekeeper for, uh, for our me and uh, for her kids, I think. Oh my God. She's just joking, or what? The kid. Real, oh, MG. Yeah, I think that's really, what is it, right? So housewives are like housekeepers. <laughs> but it's so bad to hear about it. Gam, what's wrong with you? Are you still there? Okay, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Why did you change your profile cam? <laughs> I was I was laughing when I saw your profile on Skype. <laughs> All right, so let's have number seven. Who makes the major decisions in your family? Uh, with the uh, uh, 
some decision to relate about finance and uh, some uh, electric uh, furniture in my house. I also the main person to uh, to make decision, but uh, other thing to relate about uh, the kids and uh, the food and something like that in my house. Uh, my wife also the main uh, person. So you're an electrician. You're mm, an electrician. Maybe. Okay. I think I think you are really doing your job as a husband. Okay. So I think number eight, who is uh, in charge of finances in your family? Is it still you or you give it to your wife? Mm. Charge. In charge, it means you're the one who is doing it. Um, I think um, to relate about finance, uh, that's also the um, everything is uh, me. I think so. Mm. So you are in charge of everything that you you will purchase, you will buy in your house including the food no uh, we just um me and my wife also put another uh, another quantity of money for she can buy uh, and purchase everything in my house uh, mm -hmm. we need every day and uh -huh. about that yes and i just to earn money and uh, to uh, to sure protect about our finance for mm -hmm. our family. Mm -hmm. You are the earner, but your wife is really the in charge of finances. <laughs> She's the boss. <laughs> All right. Um, who decides which channel to watch on TV? Um, in my in my house, uh, we have uh, two TVs, uh, but uh, rarely we watch and uh, I think about mm, under the uh, hour um, per month we watch uh, TV and all, every time we also uh, spending a smartphone for watching everything. Mm. So you don't uh, watch TV together as a family? No, rarely. Uh, my um, my wife uh, has uh, her smartphone and also the same with me and we don't use uh, TV a lot and uh, with the kid uh, we don't have a uh, we don't want our kids to watching TV a lot so rarely uh, I watch I turn on TV for our kids watching I think so for TV mm. I, I think, think in my house, uh, the thing to uh, decorate in my room, uh, <laughs> uh, and we rarely to watch. Just a decoration. <laughs> I think you need to reduce the two TVs because it's just a decoration. Maybe you can give the other TV to poor people <laughs> or your neighbor. Okay, come. Let's go to number ten. Who is your favorite movie star? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I'm um, I'm rarely to watch a movie, so I don't have any um, uh, idol in the movie star. A lot oh. and I don't care about it. I just watch uh, when I like and I, I don't try to find uh, uh, who, who you uh, who who they are or um, how they fa uh, favorite or fa famous on on the movie I don't care I just uh, watch <laughs> when I like a video yes really so you're not searching about who's the actor or actresses so what's the last movie that you have watched? Cam, what's the last movie that you have watched? 
uh, I think uh, that's uh, yeah, that's the the movie talk about uh, 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 kung fu from China uh, with the name, with the Vietnamese names uh, Mok Nguyen Zap, I think so. <laughs> oh, we're the same. When he uh, anti the uh, the Japanese or the um, foreigner when they want to uh, uh, when they want to to make a war with the mm. Chinese and mm. they really, uh, really not uh, respect uh, the China. That sounds interesting. What's the English name of that movie? I want to watch that that kind of movie. Do you know the last movie that I that I watched is also a Chinese movie, and it's entitled Mulan. Have you watched Mulan? But it's a Chinese no. movie, not not the Disney movie, but the Chinese one. It also talks about um, a battle between Chinese and Mongolians. <laughs> so you have to find the English name of that movie, come, and you need to share that to me. I like that kind of movie. I think it sounds interesting. <laughs> okay, number 11. Who do you think is the happiest person in the world? Who do I think is the ha happiest uh, person in the world? Uh, mm, I'm not sure about that. Sometimes I, I ask me about who is the person uh, easier in uh, or happy in my in my house, but I don't have any any answer for that. And How about now I also in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and I'm not sure about uh, the answer because uh, sometimes I I thought uh, the richest people in the world also is the uh, happiest person. But uh, when I saw the timetable of them in a day, I think I can't uh, and I don't want to become richer because they're really busy and they don't have any time for uh, their self. And uh, at the time I saw many um, uh, homeless on the movie and I think uh, they really rich when they they have many times all the day and they just lie along on the streets and don't care about everything. But uh, I also um, success, they also not the happiest, happy person. So that's why I don't have any answer for this question. Mm, I think so. Oh, I guess it's a very great observation, right? Because you're right. Like, those people who are rich who can buy anything that they want, they're very busy and they don't have time to relax. So they think they can be happy. It's like that when they don't have time for themselves. And also for homeless people, they have all the time in the world, but they don't have food to eat and they keep on begging. So these times, uh, in these times come because it's pandemic, um, have you experienced like you feel down? You feel really sad because of what's going on. And I want mm. to ask, what made you happy again after being sad? Um, uh, in, in this time when we have to stay at home a lot, and I think when some other customer to um, uh, give me some money on my account and my phone ring and uh, remind me about changing my account. I'm really happy and I think money is going to make me happy. Yes. It's all about the money, money, money. Yeah, we need money, money, money. So it's still money, it's your answer. Yes. So I, I think in my case also come, I also feel down these days. Yeah, for how many days already? But last night I feel so happy because my workmates and I, 
we walk for a very long, like 30 minutes. It's very long and we talk, then we laugh a lot. So I think I just, as what I told you, I just really need to laugh. And yes. I will be okay. <laughs> okay, um, number 12. Who do you think is the busiest person in the world? Except the rich people that you've mentioned. Mm, I think the maybe the president of uh, each country is the most uh, busy in the world. President of each country? They are mm. the busiest. Okay, are the busiest. Okay. Mm. Yes, I guess so. Maybe because they need to think a lot, especially right now during the pandemic. Do you think your yeah. prime minister is also busy? Uh, prime minister with uh, in the rich country, I think they also the same. But in my I think uh, not same. And they have a many other things to uh, focus on, uh, like uh, the prime minister, uh, minister minister in my country. They pretty busy, but um, in their house, the wife and the the children, their children also have a many opportunity to earning money from many other things. Yeah, that's why I think um, um, the prime uh, minister in my country not really easy, and I think so. <laughs> you think so? I think there are many people helping him. Do you know, have you heard about the news of the prime minister in Japan, Shinzo Abe? Yes, I'm really interested from them when they uh, retire, when uh, they are, uh, when his health not good, and every people, especially the Japanese, really uh, respect to to him. Yes, I think so. I hear, I heard about that. Yeah, I think it's the culture of Japanese people, even politicians, when they they see that they are not doing well, they will really resign. And I think that's good because if you know that you cannot do something good for the people, you have to resign now. <laughs> yes, I sometimes I just wish uh, the uh, the uh, officer in in all uh, of government in Vietnam also the same with the uh, resignation character <laughs> uh, like the pan and. Many a uh, prize uh, minister. They try to keep uh, uh, their position every time when the, their health really bad, and and even they they don't have any talent in manage and mm -hmm. every problem they raise for our society really bad. But they don't want to resign. I don't know why. It's like in the Philippines, come. It's also like that. But in some countries like Lebanon and Japan, they will just really resign if they think that they cannot do something about it. So um, in your country, how many years um, is your prime minister serving? How many years has he been a prime minister? Uh, I, I think all our prime minister can uh, on the uh, minister, and I think um, about they can keep um, their position about five years to uh, maximum uh, to ten years. Yes, depend on the minister. Okay, yeah, I think it's just the same with president in our country, six years. Okay, so who do you think is the richest person in the world? <coughs> the 
if uh, when we talk about uh, the money, and I think uh, there are many people really riches in the world, and easy to find out them on the newspaper. But uh, are they riches? I don't know. Maybe uh, riches uh, for in time riches in the. Uh, I don't know the, the daughter or the son. I, I'm not sure about that. You're rich when you're happy. Oh my God, come! You're becoming very intelligent. So because you are very specific now, yeah, the questions are actually very broad. It means the question is very general. It's not specific. So what kind of riches are you talking about? Is it uh, about money? Is it about happiness? Is it about love, time, or whatever is it? So right now, the number one, the top one richest man in the world is Jeff Bezos. He's, he's still number one? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, after divorce, uh, he have to share uh, a part of uh, money for his wife. And uh, maybe in this time when the, you know, the price of share of uh, electric uh, company also raised, I think uh, job is also the most uh, richest in the world, the richest person in the world, I think so. Mm. So how about or maybe <laughs> when are you going to be the richest man in Haizong? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think so. And if one day I uh, become rich in Haizil, I also keep the, everything in silent. And I don't want any other people to know about my uh, uh, property a lot because uh, that's in the bad news uh, with the riches in our country. But I think you need to declare your assets and your properties to the government is it like that here in vietnam because in the philippines if you are rich then you have a lot of money or property you need to declare when you say declare you need to give a document to the government uh, i think uh, really hard for we can keep uh, everything in a secret uh, in Vietnam because our government really talent when they really good at right. control every people. Yes. yes. And the Absolutely. problem, uh, we don't want to anti our government and maybe I hope uh, they keep everything so normally. And that's why I, I, I don't want to become famous in my country or especially when uh, if one day I have a big uh, property, I don't want to show off with everybody and especially I have to keep the uh, ba balance with my uh, government. That's also <laughs> really important. <laughs> yes. Do you know, Kam, that in other countries, um, your country is known to have the best like trucker using military tactics. Is it true? In other nations, like Vietnam, they say that Vietnam is good in tracking, tracking information using military tactics. And you use that in tracking coronavirus. That's why you were able to like stop in really spreading it. Like um, um, other countries were not able to do it, but uh, Vietnam were able to do it because of that technique. Is that true? <laughs> That tracking technique, so you have to be careful when you will be rich. Well, I don't know why, but uh, when I compare with the other country, when they have about one or uh, ten officers of government per, uh, per one, uh, 100 of thousand, 100,000 uh, people, but in Vietnam, we have uh, to about 1,000 officers uh, of government per uh, 100,000 people. So that's why uh, our government can control everything in our society. I think 
it's also like that in many um, countries. There are also many officers, but I think um, it's not in good use. That's it. Mm. That's the problem. So I think in Vietnam, there are also positive things, except policemen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, a lot of officer in our government, uh, and I believe uh, they they can work effective than other people. And yeah. we have uh, to pay many tax for paying a uh, salary for them. And mm -hmm. while they don't have any uh, any um, uh, quality or venue for our our society, a lot. That's really waste. Yes, it's a waste of your money, your tax. So let's go to number 13. Who do you think is the most important person in the world? <laughs> I Just think, for you, uh, okay, in your opinion. Uh, the most important in the world uh, nowadays is uh, Donald Trump the president of the uh, US, and the second is uh, the top cut being of uh, Chinese, and Ooh. the third is uh, some uh, the president of Europe area, I think so. That's also the three uh, person most important in the world because every, uh, every their decide, decision also make almost the, world, uh, the countries on the world. I want to ask them, why do you think Donald Trump is the most important person in the world today? Really easy to answer for the question because when Donald Trump I don't know. want to anti the Chinas and uh, they make many other uh, company in China really uh, bankrupt or move out China to Vietnam or India or Thailand or Philippines or something like that. And that's why Donald Trump really, and I think he's the most important person in the world. Um, have, do you remember the incident before? I think that was 2009, like the 7-11, like the helicopter crashed um, on the building. Have you remembered that one? And um, yes. I think I cannot remember, but it is it is I think one of the most important person in the Middle East. And she said, if Donald Trump will not be the president next year, another 7-11 will occur or will happen. So maybe yes. you have you have a point that Donald Trump is yeah maybe one of the most important person nowadays but we don't have any like proof if he can really do that but you think donald trump is very playful right he keeps mm. on playing with people <laughs> <laughs> okay so number 15 who do you think lies most often most and then often uh, every, every politician also the lies most often. Yes, I think so. Mm. Yes, politicians and also salesmen. <laughs> <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> uh, yes. But how about the Do you still lie now? Uh, every time when I uh, met my customer, I try to uh, talking about with them something uh, very nice, but it not affect uh, with other people. I think so. That's make to to our conversation to more funny. Mm, more fun. Yeah, you already told me about that. So you really love lying. <laughs> You, okay, your skill is lying. We already know about that. Number 16, who do you think is the most honest person in the world? 
uh, maybe that's uh, we can trust on the monk. Um, do you think um, that those people like priests or monks, they're, they don't really lie, like they're very pure? Because they need to be true to themselves. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I, I thus answer the monks or the priest because uh, I think um, I thought some I saw some uh, some uh, movies uh, from the uh, other country so I think uh, I thought that but in my country uh, we I think we can't uh, trust on the monks because the monk in the church really rich and they can earn money uh, while they're sleeping. Wow, that's a big word, very powerful. They can earn money yeah. while they're sleeping. Oh, it's like passive, passive earning. But I guess, I, I think I read somewhere, but of course I will not really believe it immediately that monks before in Vietnam are allowed to participate in politics. They can be officers in um, the government. Is it true? You don't know? <laughs> I think you don't know. Right? Mm. And monks come of a lot of sacrifices in your nation. So I think we cannot take that away that monks also have a big contribution in, in Vietnam. Okay, next question. Who do you think is the most miserable person in the world? Miserable. Miserable. Person who always suffer, cannot be happy. Cannot be contented in life, who always feels pain. <laughs> uh, who do you think the most? The person in the book. Uh, maybe I think that's either prison, prisoner, prisoner, and prisoner. Yes, and in, in, in my country, if the prisoner do don't have any money, the the life with them really terrible. Ah, so that's I why. Got it. Poor prisoners, not the poor VIP. prisoner. There's VIP, very important prisoners, right? Yeah, maybe it also exists in your country, like in my country. They're living inside a prison cell, but inside a, a prison, they have complete, like they have smart TV, jacuzzi, very comfortable bed. They're like kids. And do you know, come in the Philippines, because of the coronavirus, the high-ranking prisoners suddenly died because of mm. COVID. Yes. Yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, who do you think is the most influential person in the world, except Donald Trump? Influential. 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 It means that person affects the world. Mm. Donald Trump. <laughs> but except Donald Trump. I also the same answer like uh, Donald Trump or Tupac Bean or Putin. Yes. Who are you saying in the Chinese come? Donald Trump, the second 
Is it the Chinese? The name of the Chinese Prime Minister is Xi Jinping, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> you don't know. Chinese Prime Minister is Xi Jinping or it already changed? I will search Prime Minister name in 2020. Um, ah, okay. It's not Xi Jinping already. What happened to Xi Jinping? I didn't know anything. Oh my God, what happened to me? It's different. Yeah, I think it's the name that you're saying, right? Li Ki Kya, what's this? Yes, that's it. It in I don't how about it? There, but... the prime minister's name? Chinese prime minister. Yeah, it's not Xi Jinping. Because before I know Xi Jinping is the prime minister of China. But they actually changed it now. Oh, I don't know. Oh my God, where am I? Okay, so how about in your life, Cam? Who do you think is the most influential person in your life, not in the world? Um, when, uh, when I hear about the same question with many other people they also uh, answer is uh, the mother or the father also is the most influential with them but in my case um, i think i'm not sure about that when everything i also uh, self uh, education self training self doing everything and in at the moment, I think uh, my wife is the most influential uh, with me and with our family. Mm -hmm. See, your wife is really the president in your house. <laughs> yes, yeah. Your wife she is the prime minister. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. So let's have number 19. Who makes you happy? Aside from money, or it's what? It's a person, okay? Who? Yes, I understand. Uh, <laughs> my wife, my uh, kids, and my parents, and of course, my friends, also the people who make me happy. Your neighbor. <laughs> of course, like. <laughs> okay, who makes you sad? Uh, um, my wife, this. <laughs> my parents, <laughs> and the worker, yeah. all of yeah. them uh, can make me sad. I guess that's really right. People that can make you happy, they're also the reason that you all feel sad. Right? How about who makes you laugh? When you're happy, it's like you, you will not laugh. But who makes you laugh? Uh, I think uh, the kids, either uh, most people, are, mm, the most people to make me laugh a lot. And then my wife, and then my customers. So your wife is also a joker? Mm -hmm. Yes, but all the time I also the uh, the main joker with my wife. <laughs> so your wife is the main cook and you're the main joker. <laughs> or you're the main joker. <laughs> oh my God, what a very, very nice role in your family camp. You're the main joker. Okay, who is the best singer? Who is the best singer in my house? Maybe that's also me because oh. my wife uh, rarely sings. 
and she don't know a lot about songs. Oh my God. You have to prove that you are the best singer. You need to yes, sing that's that? what I compare with my wife. Oh my God. <laughs> Very bad. Who is the smartest person you know? Except those people that you see in media, okay? Just the person you know. Hmm. Uh, I think um, when I was a student or, or in high school, there are many uh, friends I know. I know uh, really smarter than me. Uh, but in the business, I think uh, also there are many business um, and really smartest and yes depend on the on the type of jobs also have many people really smart i think so okay i understand because we have different kinds of intelligence and i guess maybe you are smart in something else but there is um another person is smart in something else also how about now who do you think is the smartest person just around you Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, with uh, smart about job or smart about emotion or many other <laughs> kinds of smart. Really um, what, why so, are you yes. like that nowadays? <laughs> you are very, you want to be very specific now in all the questions. Smart in life. Smart in life. Smart in life, including smart on the brain and smart on health. Yeah. We That's want in to. General. Mm. Uh, in my in my family, I think uh, I am a, a smart uh, in brain, but my wife smart in heart. I think so. You're smart in brain. <laughs> Okay, let's just accept that. Who has the best job in the world? Uh, who has best job in the world? When I was a child, I also wish uh, one day I will become a doctor for can give safe many life for other people. And at that time, I think I thought uh, the the doctor is the best job in the world. Uh, but nowadays, when I I am a salesman, I think the salesman either <laughs> become a salesman. That's for for me at least, because I think I can earn a lot of money than other job, and I have a many free time, and depend on my timetable. That's either pretty uh, flexible in my job, and I have a many. Uh, opportunity to approaching with the uh, other knowledge. I think so. Yes, of course, you need to love your own. Okay, love your own job. In my case, I will also say that being a teacher. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, so let's have the last question. Who do you depend on for advice? It means if you have some problem, who do you go to ask for advice? Um, honestly, I, I don't have any other people for I can receive some advice from them. And now uh, I have to join another class to earning a lot of knowledge oh. for to self decision, uh, advice for myself. Really? And uh, sometimes uh, yes, sometimes I try to ask uh, my teacher uh, for giving uh, me some advice. But uh, I find one, one thing really important. Uh, every advice from other people is just for uh, I can consider it. But uh, I can't uh, 
uh, use the same with their advice because my occasion or my situation really different from them. And, and the best uh, advice thus from me because I am a person really, really understand about myself and my situation. So that's why I think the best way I can do for myself is trying to up to date my knowledge for more wiser. And at that time, I have uh, to self advisor for myself and don't depend on other advisors. Right. I think that's correct. Because most of the time people are asking you for advice, it's because they want to confirm. What, they, what do we mean by confirm? You just want to know if your decision is the same with theirs. And then you say, ah, see, I'm right, because I made the decision the same with them. But at the end of the day, it's just really you who would really decide and come up with any solutions about your problems. So it's very important to know what you really want in life. Because if you want, if you know already what you want, I think you can maybe decide, right? I don't know. Because I'm also a person who is very spontaneous. I don't really put much effort in like decision making or what. So come final question. Because our um, question is all about who, then my final question for you is who are you? There has been a question around the internet, Cam. Who are you without your degree? Without your wealth? And without the education that you 